What's up guys? My name is Ian. I'm with Zing. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Zing Drone Delivery Kit to make deliveries with your Mavic or your Phantom. During this crazy coronavirus time, everyone's self-quarantining at home and a lot of people need goods delivered without any contact. So you can use the Zing Drone Delivery Kit to make those no contact deliveries. This one is for the Mavic. We also have one for the Phantom. First thing here is this instruction manual. It's a booklet that shows you how to use everything. I'm going to explain how to use everything in this video though. Here's the Zing hook. This is perfect for no contact deliveries because the drone can fly somewhere, tap the ground with this hook, and it releases the package automatically. Here is the Zing clamp. This is not very good for no contact deliveries because somebody has to be at the drop off location and actually unclamp it. Here is the Zing three foot landing pad. You just place it down wherever you want your drop off location to be and the drone will autonomously center over it, descend, and drop off the package when you're using the Zing Pilot app. Here is the Gannett Sport Release. If somebody yanks on that line, it'll actually release the line so that your drone doesn't come out of the sky. We have these six stakes for the landing pad. They're really easy to put in the ground and they also have this glow-in-the-dark ring. We recently got a night waiver. When you perform night flights, you'll use these clamps as well as some other things that we include in our night delivery kit. We have two small Zing delivery boxes. These are good for like medical items, small pharmaceutical items. Lastly, we have these two large Zing delivery boxes. The first thing we need to do is attach this Gannett Sport Release to the Mavic. So all I have to do here is affix this to the bottom and wrap the band that comes with it around the drone and just make sure that's tight in there like that. Here we have some pharmaceutical items. Uh, during the coronavirus, a lot of people are self-quarantining, especially people who are sick. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in our delivery box here. And to close this delivery box, all you gotta do is fold it in like this and put the handles right in here. And you're ready to go. We're going to be using the Zing hook for this delivery. You can see on one end there's a loop knot that goes into the quick release device and on the other end we have the hook. The hook basically works like this. You put it in the box right here and it carries the package and then when it touches the ground the hook just falls out of the box and then you just take back off with your drone. To attach the Zing hook to the drone all we have to do is take this loop knot, put it down here between these two beads and then we tighten this dial all the way. Now we're going to take off with the drone and attach the box. As you can see, we're leaving the launch location at 128. We've hit a traffic jam. There's a drawbridge up ahead, and time is 137. It's 145. We arrived at the location. It's been 20 minutes since we left. Um, as you can see here, the package arrived. It's still in good shape. The delivery arrived safely. People will be able to come around this cul-de-sac, exit their cars pick up their delivery with no contacts. You can also use the Zing Pilot iOS app. This app works with any DJI drone. You can see here that I can just tap a spot and it'll select a GPS coordinate. I can tap the map button to switch between maps. You can even use satellite view. And we use Mapbox, so it's pretty detailed. And so when I tap launch here, the drone will ascend to 100 feet and start heading directly to that coordinate. When I tap return home, the drone will just return right back to where it started from. 
Abort will give you back manual control at any time, and Land will center the drone directly over the top of the landing pad and descend to 15 feet. Zing Pilot app also has full airspace awareness, so you can see here I can see all of the hospitals, prisons, schools, and controlled airspace. Some controlled airspace is Lance enabled, meaning that you can still fly within five miles of an airport, but you have to fly underneath a certain altitude. And using the Zing app, you can make Lance requests if you're flying within five miles of an airport.